Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play the Stanley Parable. You know what? I'm getting a little sick of this freaking narrator. No longer are his words a comfort to All me. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That is entirely possible. I doubt it, and I find myself... Wait, this is not the same. Is it? Seems a little different. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. You know what? Fuck that. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. You know what? Yeah. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Speaking of drinking... Can I get some coffee? Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. I think so. Better than following your instructions. Oh. But... At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Wow, you're kind of a dick whenever I don't do what you want. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room, and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Uh, I don't think so. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Yeah, you continue to be a bit of a dick anytime someone decides to not do what you want them to do. Which we already knew. Alright, alright. Whoa. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion will cause death. <laughs> Penalty for misuse of the cargo lift, a thousand dollars. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, five thousand dollars. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. Well. Hmm. You know what? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. You know what? I'm not Screw sure. you! Hey, really, I'm not. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Aren't I, though? I did subvert your plan for me now, didn't I? But I'm kind of curious about something else that I saw in there. Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Interestingly enough, the door is still open here. No, nope. still no orders. Except from you, Mr. Narrator. But okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. And yeah, it's a wow. lovely room, but... Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I don't think so. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. So was I fined $5,000 for that little stint that I just tried? I wonder. Oh well. At least it's not real money! Now that's an interesting Look, Stanley, little... I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Some... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for <laughs> others? Are you that con 
convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. But I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To no, show you, you something beautiful. No, you don't. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. No, I don't think so. Although I am curious about what goes on up there, but I don't really want it. Danger? Danger everywhere. I, I don't know that I trust anything that he is going to be leading me to. Uh, let's see. What's that sign say? Warning! Do not stand on this side of the fence. Well, that's too bad. Now what? listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. But I like blue better. You know, maybe I've made my point. Maybe oh, thank he... God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped and i think well i think i have a solution here do you let me show you well that was vaguely creepy well let's give it a shot what do you want you want to load again okay hmm. what do we want what are we looking for hmm? what's this here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Really? I actually feel happy. <laughs> well, it is pretty. We're in space! With lots and lots of pretty colors. Well... Okay, mostly just lights. Does he really feel? Oh, they're the colors! Wow, this really is very pretty. Wow, he's really trying very hard now. Is this maybe your peace offering to me? The pretty. Space? Ah, screw you. No, wait. Where are you going? Away. Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before trapping me in this situation. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Yeah, but, you know what, I've already proven that dying doesn't really change much, now does it? No! Oh, <sighs> thank, no, 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 what are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? Mmm, because I feel like it. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? I mean, it was pretty, to be fair, but... No. My god. Is this really how much you dislike my game? Yes. That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy? No. Am I reading the situation correctly? No. I'm willing to kill myself repeatedly because you keep trying to kill me! Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. No, you didn't. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Okay. Thank you. Boom. There we go. It's going to restart, isn't it? I think so. Alright, well, 
that... What? Um... There are papers strewn all along the floor. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Other than the papers strewn all over the place. Kind of weird. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, no. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Nee. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and so personally to Stanley? Its grace? Its subtle charm? No. Stanley knew it was something deeper. Something darker. Yeah, like getting through but here. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Mm, no. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Because now I'm kind of curious. We go along with his plan, and he takes us to a pretty light show. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. What? Really? Yes, really. I'm in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? What? Well, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let you me are... prove that I'm on your side. I mean, you it did show hurts. me something pretty. This is true. It was very pretty. It was also very boring and very limiting. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. But we know where that one goes. Aha, <laughs> perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. But I like blue better. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. But... I mean, you're not even giving me an option anymore? I mean, really? The, the, the red door is the only one that... Oh, here's the blue door. There we go. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because <laughs> you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Yes. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Mm -hmm. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so far. Tell I haven't what. given you Let nothing. Take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Uh, go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Uh, well, looks like some uh, textures are still missing, but it looks like he's trying to go in a new direction this time. Um, I will say that this actually can lead to two different endings, but um. I'm not going to be doing one of them. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Well, for the most part, I think that the change is actually very appropriate, although I don't think it's perfect. I think there's more you could have done with okay, it. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly, there's something here that speaks to you. If yes. I can be honest here, 
I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so mm -hmm. let's keep this party train rolling. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's really? take a look. Um Worldwide leaderboard, huh? And <laughs> Nico Nacho? Interesting. Hogarth. That's a lot of people. Skip the intro sequence on the worst three players chose the blue door. Stanley is online. This is you. 9,328th place. How long does it take you to get to the correct door? <laughs> you are objectively ranked really, like, absolutely dead last. Alright. Alright. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Uh, not really. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Really? You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? No. Perfect. Let me boot it up. Ooh. What? In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. Really? It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I don't like that noise. And he's actually serious about it taking four hours. If you play four hours... You will actually achieve a different ending. I am not gonna play this for four hours, though. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or yeah. purely to spite me? Yes. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's Are you? over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, was hey, it? since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just but to really? ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Oh, really? I'm gonna play a different game? Oh. Well, my Stanley, god. Is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. <laughs> but is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. That's lovely. <laughs> can, can I build a house? Go here. No, here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Well. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. You and your doors. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond Ooh. everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Yes, that we do. Are you actually going to let me mine? That would be so damn cool. Oh, hey. Oh, wow, this oh, is really awesome. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Uh, well, no, you didn't give me one. 
Aw, I can't collect mushrooms. Oh, oh that no, sucks. No, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Really? Even diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Did I just hear a spider? New game, he says. What could he possibly have in mind? What can beat Minecraft? Really? <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Hmm. Well, I would love to, but... Oh, yeah, he opened up this. Okay. So, of course he's going to have something in common with the uh, main antagonist of this game. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Hmm. Companion cube! That's just what this game was missing all along. Genius. No, actually, Freedom! You know what? I think that's plenty. What? I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. What? Hey! I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just- Screw you! Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Okay. This is pretty darn cool. Where am I? Um, whoa! What's going on? The, um, uh, okay. Well, at least it's an office building now, but... What? What do I do? Where do I go? This doesn't seem right. Is he truly leaving me alone in this? Oh, uh huh. Interesting. There's a light. Four twenty seven. Wait a minute. Am I gonna receive orders now? No? Okay. Well. Uh, this is, um... I um, wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. So can I. Well, that was interesting. 
Unfortunately, we're out of time for this installment of Let's Play the Stanley Parable. Next time? I'm still kind of curious to see a few things. I still see a few things that need to be explored. So, I hope to see you then.